What's up, my friends? Got some NBA bets and picks. Let's go. All right, going to the optimizer, clicking yes, imply probability, highest to lowest. Paolo Banchero, over four and a half assists on Underdog Fantasy is live. Yeah, look at the books. Five books all juiced. Last possible place you'd play a straight would be over four and a half, minus 130. Looked into the data, wanted to see, does the markets match the data? Over the last three games without Markel Fultz, Banchero has hit the over in all three games, averaging 12.3 potential assists. This line's juiced everywhere. Data matches. Give me the over. A lot of really interesting plays for a two-game slate. Hopefully, some of the data and the markets will match up. I feel like I've got a couple for you today, leading off with that Banchero play. And this next one, this is going to be a fun one at the very least. I'm simply going to go to the assist market, and I'm looking at Tyrese Halliburton. Hear me out. He's averaging a league-high 18.9 potential assists this season. That's a lot. Tyrese Halliburton is averaging a league-high 18.9 potential assists. Now, everybody's always talking about, well, about half a potential assist usually become assists for an average passer. Halliburton's not average. Clearly one of the best passers in the NBA. And with this current young Indiana Pacers roster and lineup, this man is dishing. He's at 11, 13, 13, 13, 12, 8, and 13 assists in the seven games, hitting the over five of seven. We have a 243 and a half point total and only a three and a half point spread for the Indiana Pacers who are at home against the visiting Milwaukee Bucks. A competitive game, says Vegas. Betters are saying it's going to stay competitive. Give me Halle Burton over 11 and a half assists. I really like this play. Now you can see Banchero just got removed from underdog after I highlighted it. But listen, you can still play it on sports books. Halle Burton's still there over 11 and a half assists. And he is still available on price picks. All right, really quick, just going to run through a bunch of very valuable plays based on math. Again, implied probability, try to keep it 57% or higher. Here's a slew of plays that would at least put you competitive. Let's use this as your compass. Go research these, figure out where the markets match the data, and make your choice. Miles Turner under one and a half threes on price picks. We have five sports books, four of them juicing the under. The only outlier is FanDuel sitting here at minus 125. That would be the place to play the straight pick if you want it. Jalen Suggs over 10 and a half points. Again, no Markel Fultz. That's why Benchero looks a little bit better tonight. Franz Wagner's points prop is also higher than normal at 21 and a half. I potentially might take the under there. Jalen Suggs over 10 and a half. An interesting play. We have two books, both Pinnacle and Fliff, juicing the over. Three giving you decent odds. Minus 125 best play on DraftKings. Again, these are not going to be great options today. They're just not. Two game slate. You got a lot of money coming in on just two games, so you're going to have very tight lines with not as much edge as you're used to. Trey Young, listen, if you're taking the over 22 and a half, the place to play it right now is underdog. The place to play it is sleeper. You can play it over here on Caesars or Fliff if you'd like, or on the flip side, you can go under 23 and a half today, and you're getting fair odds, about a minus 105. I think I saw a plus 100 on DK this morning when I looked at it. He's only hit the over one time this season for what it's worth, but he's got great trends over the last two years, hitting the over about 67% of the games when Deontay Murray and Clint Capella are in the lineup. Matchup against Orlando is not great, but we do have a 232 and a half point total for that game. This would be the last two plays that hit that 57% mark. You got to make your choices with what you're doing with this information today. You got to research it. I don't think any of these are plug and plays. They're way too tight. You have outlier lines left and right, way under minus 130 that take these off the board for me. But again, it's entirely up to you. I'm just highlighting you with this early look. Gave two picks. Showed a few more based on the odds, and hopefully you guys are making some money. Saw some people tweeting yesterday. Looks like people are starting to watch the early look video, and you like it. Hit the like button if you are watching this for me. Again, we're getting 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 views daily on these videos, and we're getting 80, 70, 90 likes. Hit the like button. Help me out. Help me grow the channel. I'll keep producing content for you, and uh, hopefully you guys keep making some money. If not, you need some help? Dive into Dub Club. That's where you get the premium picks. Been a little shaky. I will be honest. Last probably four days has been up. It's been down. I went 12 and three. Uh, NFL Sunday night, Monday night, NBA added in there as well. And then Tuesday, nothing to bet on. Last night went four and five. Uh, so it's just kind of mixed, you know, big day, average day, bad day, average day, big day. It's just bouncing back and forth. Uh, usually that's the best time to join, to be honest. It's not when you see my YouTube videos saying, Oh, 25x, boom, 10x, 7 and 1, 6 and 1, 10 and 1, 4 and 0. Oh. 
that's when the cooler's coming. You join up and we go ice cold for like four days. It all averages out. Right now, we're having average days for four, five, six days in a row. <laughs> well, that's when you're about to go on a massive heater. So give it a look down below. Less than 20 bucks. We'll see you in the inside, my friends. Have a good day.